Greetings commanders and welcome to a new Tom Clancy's Elite Squad video. In this video, we are featuring the new weapon upgrade system that was just introduced to the game in the latest update. We're going to break down its functionality and give you guys the best insights on how to get those valuable proofs and develop faster in the game. So let's roll the intro and get right into it. Hello and welcome again. My name is Eagle and in this video we're going to give you guys some really nice insights. But before we start the video, I want to tell you about another giveaway that we are holding this Saturday. And in order to enter the giveaway, you have to do three simple free things. First things first, subscribe to the channel, please, if you like the content. <laughs> and the second thing is you have to go to the Twitch down below. Give me a follow over there so that you would know when actually we're going to go live and start holding the giveaway. And lastly, join our community Discord. Uh, I'll also link that in the description below. In that Discord, we actually do a lot of chats. We do uh, some different, uh, we discuss some different strategies. And there is actually where we'll be holding the giveaway from the giveaway bot. This giveaway is actually hosted by Ubisoft. We're going to give out a total of 2,000 golds to five lucky winners. So that would be amazing. And having you guys there would mean the world to me. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now, first of all, let's break down the weapon system in this game. So firstly, you have four types of weapon. The common weapons, the uncommon weapons, the epic weapons, and the legendary tier weapons. Now, those four tiers, what they do is actually increase the TPS of your weapons, sometimes give you more penetration, give you a higher magazine, also higher accuracy, and reload speed. This basically enhances the overall combat power of your specific soldier when you upgrade their weapons. So they are very important for the progression of the game, for your soldiers to develop their power even further, uh, aside from actually ranking them up and getting their uh, like higher gear uh, tier. Now, before that, we only had two types of blueprints, the blueprints, the normal ones, and the advanced blueprints. Now, this change actually introduced four new types of blueprints. Now, the first blueprint is just like the normal blueprints. We call them blueprints one, and they're mainly just obtainable from everywhere. We're going to tell you about that in a minute. The blueprints, the other ones are blueprints two. They're used also to upgrade uh, the, the weapons to the uncommon tier. Also, they're used to upgrade them to the epic tier. As you guys can see, you need 500 of those to upgrade them to the epic tier. And last thing, basically, the Blueprints 3 to upgrade them to the, uh, helps out to upgrade them to the Epic tier and the Legendary tier at last. Now, for the Legendary weapons, in order to actually obtain a weapon in the Legendary tier, it was broken down in terms of the weapon type. Now, you can see that we have multiple weapon types in the game, and each weapon type, you have to actually get those specific blueprints for that specific weapon type in order to get to the legendary tier of that weapon now i do like personally i do like this change because this actually brings some depth into the game and it actually ensures that the long last sense of the game because this way it is actually more hard to obtain those uh, than the normal even for players that actually pay to like uh like pay a lot and wail in this game it's still hard to obtain those because it's still a matter of some sort of luck. Now, I understand that some of you are a bit frustrated because you really were saving up to upgrade uh, like your characters to legendary weapons, and then boom, new update, new system, and whatnot. Uh, yeah, Ubisoft didn't do a great job at communicating this change, but I mean, hey, uh, they're trying to compensate with that. Like, they're doing a lot of things now to compensate. We're gonna go through that in this video, and we're gonna tell you guys if those things actually are worth or not worth until. Just a teaser over here. I do like what they're doing. I do like what they're doing. Like it is super high valuable what is going on right now in the game. That like the new weapon update work was communicated on Discord. So if you're not in the official Discord of uh, Ubisoft or like Elite Squad, I would definitely recommend joining that. I also leave the link for that in the description below uh, if you guys are interested in that. Um, so yeah. So as you guys can see, four new uh, like types of blueprints that were introduced to the games. 
The first three, which are blueprints one, two, and three, can be obtained from complete places. Basically, you can actually obtain them from daily ops. Secondly, from the elite arena milestones. And by those, we mean uh, like the actual ranks that you go up in the arena. So if you go over here, click on whatever rank you are currently in, and you would see that you can actually gain those blueprints when you are uh, leveling up or ranking up. You can also gain uh, blueprints rank three from over here. And lastly, from dedicated weapon events, which we have one running right now. Now, the tier four blueprint weapons, or the last tier blueprint weapons, which are specific for each gun, can be obtained from the arena season rewards. Now, for some reason, the arena season rewards over here are not. Oh, they're actually showing right now. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so as you guys can see, once you reach platinum, you'll be able to get blueprints or uh, elite weapon blueprint ORB keys. Now, these keys, once you have got, 150 of them, you can open an, an ORB that is dedicated for legendary weapon blueprints or tier four weapon blueprints. The higher you go in the arena, the more you can actually obtain of those keys and open even more um, like weapon blueprints. The cool thing about that as well, you're also getting those advanced weapon blueprints or B keys, and those would open uh, like the from tier one to tier three uh, weapon blueprints. You would also be able to obtain them from the season rewards apart from the other uh, like uh, locations where you can actually obtain them as well. Now, for for this specific event, there are also another way you can obtain tier four weapons which is from the events tab over here if you go to the events tab there is always going to be every cycle there's going to be one dedicated weapons event now this weapons event is going to feature two weapons for example right now we're getting the pistol and the sniper um event and in this event you'll be able to gain from the milestones you'll be able to gain those uh, elite weapon orb keys you'll also be able to gain a hell lot of advanced weapon blueprint keys from completing those uh, missions over here and lastly if you go all the way down to 1j you will start uh gaining advanced weapon tiers from these specific ones as well now these are actually rewarding if you have a really strong team so you'll be getting like per mission you'll be getting six total um tier four weapon tiers which i think is actually incredible um and also you're getting 40 advanced weapon blueprint tiers which you need like uh, 150 of them to open an orb that is right over here now this orb if you go to it it will actually give you a really good amount of uh those weapon tiers if you can see the rewards order you're getting three rewards uh and these are the chances that you might get those rewards from as well now this whole change is actually pretty good but there is a secret place that i actually accidentally so today i don't know if this is only on my account or um or i don't know what's going on exactly but if you go to the to, the, to your daily ops to the factory blueprints and you would see like the current level that i'm right now in i am able to gain four blueprints of the lmgs from this specific level now this level i can easily beat i cannot i cannot three stars but i can beat uh, so i'll be able to gain 12 from these uh whenever this actually uh, uh like appears on like a weekly basis like the specified days for this specific uh daily operation now the thing about this if you go up the tiers i don't see that happening over here which is kind of weird so it's only happening at 1g and i want to know that if that if you guys have the same thing over here because this was not mentioned in the patch notes nor in the uh, official announcement from ubisoft so i want to know if you guys have the same thing and if you do go over there and get those before those are gone i don't know what are those exactly but i mean i do like uh what i'm seeing over here uh because this is a nice way to actually gain those level four blueprints in order to actually compensate for the miscommunication that happened between uh ubisoft and the uh, community they're doing a some sort of a conversion uh, offer that is available in the resources tab in the vendor over here. So this is basically the conversion that is happening. It's available only for a limited time. So you'll be able to convert uh, these, your older blueprints or uh, the blueprints that were actually transferred uh, from your order account into higher level blueprints only for a limited time. I do believe this is only for a week. Um, but as you guys can see yeah it's all it's only for seven days right now so this is basically what you what you're what you're looking at is 
level one blueprints or tier one blueprints transferred into tier three blueprints at a three to one rate now is rate is this rate actually good i think it's this rate is actually pretty good to be honest with you guys because tier three blueprints are very hard to obtain but tier one blueprints you can obtain them from everywhere you get you can get them from the daily quest you can get them from the arena progression like every all the activities that you're doing on a daily basis can give you those tier one blueprints and you don't need a lot of them to actually upgrade your weapons so I do 100% believe that you should invest more in these uh, tier 3 upgrades. I will uh, probably transfer about 9,000 of my tier 1s into tier 3s in order to get that specific uh, blueprint over here because it's actually not easy to obtain. Now, if we look at this one in uh, contrast over here, this one over here will give you 150, like one ORB key, one elite ORB key for 150 level or tier two uh like weapon um like well, blueprints over here sorry <laughs> so i do think that this one is also actually pretty good because of the fact that tier fives are really hard to obtain now if you were able to actually get 25 blueprints from that specific key that you're getting so th that's actually pure value over there because tier two weapons are actually still easy to obtain and you can get those and you can get a lot of those from the arena especially if you're trying to rush the arena to a higher tier trust me you'll get a lot of tier twos as well but it is very hard to get the legendaries so if you have a chance right now to convert all your lower tier um blueprints into higher tier i would definitely do that right now and we're gonna actually uh do some of those right now we're gonna open some some orbies for you guys to see for yourselves how this conversion rate uh is actually working and is it actually good or not um so let's go ahead to the orbies right now and check for that elite orb that we were talking about in a sec so if you go all the way down here you would find them behind uh the advance or uh, like the gear orbies that are that you can see over here so let's go ahead to the elite weapon orbies now what you're getting is there are six weapon types in the games as you guys can see the ars uh the lmgs the pistols the shotguns the smgs and the sniper rifles now you're going to be getting from 10 to 25 of these blueprints over here each time you open an elite weapon blueprint because it's only going to be one reward and you're also go, uh, getting a second extra reward which is gold prestige which i think is pretty good if you uh were to open and we're going to actually go to the gold prestige in a minute and tell you guys about that too now Let's go ahead and open some of these and see what we can actually obtain from those. Uh, so we got 10 over here for the sniper rifles. I do like the sniper rifles because I have some sniper, a lot of, uh, I'm using actually a lot of attackers in terms of sniper rifles. Um, so probably actually got, we got 15 LMGs over here. That's much better. That's much better than the first one. And then what are we getting right now? Let's see, what is this? We got 15 pistols. That's good. I don't really like pistols, but I mean, Bard is there, so <laughs> we can we can definitely use those on Bards. Now, remember, you need 100 blueprints to actually upgrade a weapon to the uh, fourth tier or the legendary tier. So you need to get a lot of those to actually upgrade your weapons to the legendary tier. This is why I do recommend that you guys convert all your or almost all your uh, lower tier uh, blueprints into higher tier so that you can actually benefit from that as well. Now, before we... Uh, and this video i wanted to talk about also something uh that is really important over here in terms of the in the in the vendor shop so the gold prestige that you guys can see over here um there is a way to convert gold prestige into actual elite weapon uh or advanced weapon orbs now this is for me not a good conversion unless unless you are in the late game already and you're waiting out then this is a good conversion uh, conversion because simply uh you will need legendary weapons at the end of the game but if you are in the early to mid game i do not recommend that i would also recommend spending your gold uh prestige on uh, characters like for example doc or the kaibi 100 uh, recommend doc first so once you actually got Doc to a really high level, for example, like uh, rank eight or nine, and you are satisfied with that, and you need to upgrade the weapons right now to a legendary tier, then I would definitely recommend going for uh, the elite weapon blueprint or B keys over here. I do not recommend the advanced uh, weapon blueprints. It's actually a very bad rate that uh, that's what's happening over here. Um, 
this one over here i do not really recommend it because what you're getting over here is a 25 which is the highest rating right um but as we guys saw from before we got two 15s in 110 so in the worst case scenario you're getting two tens which is 20 for that uh for that 100 but in a good case scenario or a decent case scenario i would say you're getting 30 which is much more valuable so if you want to test your luck go for the elite weapon blueprint or b keys but if you want a specific weapon for like a specific character definitely go for the uh full uh 25 thingies over here that will actually uh help you a lot uh in terms of transferring the star prestige into gold prestige i do not recommend that because you want to get your sam up as well he's an excellent character and uh this is my recommendation for you guys so this is basically everything that you guys need to know about the new weapon system uh, i would like to thank you so much again for watching and definitely make sure you go ahead and do all the stuff that uh we told you about the giveaway so that you can actually participate in it and win some free gold in the process thank you so much again for watching and we will definitely see you on the next one eagle out